but I'm so excited about this program because this program will talk about all things African art. Then I had a chance to study with uh, Mr. Enoch Kiao Mensa. And aside that, doing my studies with uh, Enoch Kiao Mensa of uh, Prehand Studios, then uh, I had uh, online friends, uh, a certain woman uh, by name uh, Nancy Hovey in US, who has a studio called uh, Triple Jump Studio. And also I had a friend who was a, a watercolorist in uh, Canada. Um, and her name is Anne. And these people, together with my master here, Mr. Enoch Yamensa, uh, they you know, started guiding me and assisting me to polish my, my art. So I was getting a lot of lessons both locally and internationally. So, so if I may ask, what actually, um, how did you get into the International Watercolor Society? Who introduced well, you to it? Well, uh, it was um, Atano Dogan, who was the, actually the name is Atano Duan, but it's okay. So he had an online art competition for new international watercolor artists around the world. That's right. So he he saw my work that uh, I, a friend recommended a page to me that I should also post my work to participate in this international online contest. Ah. So when I posted my work, then Atana Duan realized that I'm, I, uh, I'm coming from Africa and, and mine is different. So That's he right. decided that I joined the jury uh, panel rather. So okay. I was moved from, from the contest. To, uh, the juries were now to travel to, to Turkey, which is in Izmir. Okay. So they sponsored the trip that I also come as a jury for the opening and award ceremony. Wow. So that was when I had the first, uh, the second chance to travel to um, abroad. So that is how I became a member and also the country representative for, for Ghana. And that That's time right. most... African didn't have any uh, IWS branches. So I was also representing Africa as a whole. In the yeah. Jonathan, can you tell us, let's move more into your artworks because I think it's really good what you've been able to do. You didn't disappoint Africa at all. Um, your, no, work no, no, is so, no, no, no. your work is so different. Your work is so unique. You know, you don't use a lot of these and I'll put a few of them on screen so that people will know what we're talking about because your work doesn't use the normal primary colors that we are used to. So that's Jonathan in his, uh, the first one is one of his paintings. Second one is him actually at work in his studio. Can you talk us through it? Yes. Uh, the first one on the left was uh, actually the normal size uh, watercolor paper, 56 okay. by 76. And at that time, uh, it was difficult getting that size of paper. And so I traveled and I started bringing them in. Oh. And then it was quite challenging completing a size like that. But with constant practice over the years, the, the picture on the right was when I started to do a large size watercolor work, which it is very even difficult getting the size of that paper. But, That's right. Uh, I was able to challenge myself from that point that, no, I needed, since I'm representing Africa, I have to always raise the bar higher so yes. that the younger generation looking up to me will know that watercolor is not just something on a small paper, but rather uh, you can go bigger and bigger. So the picture on the, on the right was actually when I started uh, doing large scale uh, watercolor works. And Were these painted from live or? I usually do the live sketches and also okay. take some, some photos. Then when I get to the studio, I'm able to put all together. So I work on the live sketches, the photo reference, and also my imagination to what I felt when I went to the site there. 
you know, into the work. That's Other right. than that, your painting will not be able to tell the actual story you want your viewers to, to see. So, I mean, these are breathtaking paintings and well done for capturing Ghana in such a, a manner.